Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Beta Say Goodbye. Uh, as this goes out, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure that um, it should still be before the uh, release of Kerbal Space Program. Uh, now, Jeb's first date. Nope. Jeb's first dates. Jeb's first dates, hot friend. <laughs> uh, that's all that Jeb cares about. So let's give ourselves. We do have Delta V in for us to wait. Indication. So I'm curious if we go to two. And we're testing an engine, which is this one. The difference is more mass. Less thrust? Really? Is this the gimbling one? Uh, it was considered another back breakthrough in the LTV series due to its... Yeah, thrust vectoring. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what the hell it was. Now, that gives us a, a delta V of about 3,000 meters per second. A thrust to weight of close to 3, which I like. Luca, you've got your old name back. And you did, Griff. You missed the start. How dare you! <laughs> now, I think... Did we get any radial parachutes? Because we can save bits of the craft. Uh, there's a, sort of like a re... Oh, we did get mystery goo. I'm hoping... Uh, we can get away with two things of mystery goo. With this one parachute. I have no idea what they do. <laughs> All stages, okay, that's what I want to see. Burn time of about a minute. Delta V of around 2,000. Why is there Delta V in the other stages? Oh, no, that's just adding up to the total. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Nick killed Jeff. <laughs> I think we're good here. Can anyone think of anything that I'm missing from this? It has an antenna. It has goo. It should be balanced because there's two of them. There's no more parachutes to put on. Engine-wise, you know, that's sort of basically it. I think this should get us to 20,000 easy enough. A launch. The stream has muted for that purpose. Testing the engine requires you to light it at the particular altitude, I believe. You need other engines to get it there. Oh! And the mic value beam is fluctuating again. Grr! Right, is it a um, sort of like a steady type fluctuation or is it a jerky one? Because annoyingly it'll be doing it for the YouTube recording as well. I really previously was blaming Skype. Right, well if we need to test it at that level, let's uh, cancel here. We don't want to build this yet. What the hell's all this? Uh, go away, advanced mode. You're scary. Uh, let's exit out here and figure out when I'm supposed to test it. Uh, so when does it say I'm supposed to? Okay, these ones are completed. In flight. What's the requirements? Altitude of 13,000. Speed of over 300. Right, so we will definitely be doing some simulations for this. But let's go back and let's work on a craft then. Thank you for letting me know that, otherwise I would have just completely messed up. So let's... 
take that fuel off, chuck you on there, get a stack decoupler. Put you back on under here. And we'll go for a dual stager, which gets us basically no more Delta V. Uh, that's a bit annoying. Uh, between those altitudes and between those speeds, uh, you do not need much fuel at all. Take the smaller one. Yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. I mean, I've got an altitude record to go for as well, but... You're right, I don't think we need that much. And that's dropped our Delta V down by a thousand, but then I... No, no, let's, let's try this. A launch. We're going to simulate this flight. <laughs> I like how you can start in orbit. <laughs> Select different bodies, simulation length, cost. You know, it costs us basically nothing. Uh, show advanced options. No idea what the advanced options are, but let's simulate. None of the seats in this vessel are crewed. It won't be controllable. Oh. We don't normally need to do that, but let's put in a Jebediah. Uh, launch. Simulate the launch. Simulate. And we'll simulate it first. This is the first KPS stream that you're watching, Scotty? Um, let's see. This is for simulation. It will end once one of the following conditions are met. The time limit is exceeded or the flight scene is exited. All progress in the simulation will be lost. That's fine. Well, I just want to test it to start with. Uh, make sure that we've got something that will actually work. Atmospheric efficiency. That's something I'm going to have to watch. When we get above 100, I need to slow down. And can I get... Flight engineer, move over here. I want this up because I want to be able to see when I'm, you know, these are all ticked. So I can actually move flight engineer back this way. Three, two, oh wait, uh, SAS. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so my flight efficiency is actually getting a bit high. I can throttle back. Don't want to go above 100. A bit more, I'm, go I'm slowing down. That's a slow gain, drop it a little bit more. Drop it a little bit more. This is something I'm not used to being able to do, actually, can, you know, checking this. It's something I've had to rely on Mechjeb to do for me, but now I can actually... Boost up a little bit. So I'm keep it about 100. What's our speed? Oh. Crap. We um, don't have enough fuel to test that part. In terms of Flight efficiency, generally it's best to have a thrust to weight slightly above 1 on the launch pad values 1.01 and 1.5 are good. Yeah, but it doesn't tell me the thrust to weight, it tells me atmospheric efficiency here. So where would I see the thrust to weight? Anyway, that simulation... ...is over. Yeah, let's leave this simulation. That would have been an unsuccessful craft, but... Oh, please say you at least remember it, though. Oh, you do, yeah. But we can rebuild it. Uh, so let's... Give this stage some more fuel. Things that's only really up to the Delta V of getting rid of all of that on the top. <laughs> Um, 
I don't have any radio decouplers. Okay, well, we've added more fuel. Let's try another simulation. Just a bog standard cheapo simulation for me, please. Uh, during the build stream, it shows you your thrust to weight ratio. The reason why it's related to atmospheric efficiency is because high takeoff thrust to weight leads to you getting crazy speed early in the atmosphere. Yeah, but I can throttle down to make sure that I get good atmospheric efficiency, can't I? I mean, let's try a start sort of like here instead of full on. And launch. Actually, full speed just to get us up to 100% because we start off lower. Oh, it tells me the G-Force. Then I can start throttling down once we get above it. There we go. This is a type of thing that you can actually program with Kerbal Engineer. Yeah, you can tell it to keep the uh, atmospheric efficiency at a certain thing. You know, throttle control, keep the um, altitude tilt at the correct point. That's uh, going up again. I'm going to have to throttle back a little bit soon. Oh, wait. You want to be up so I can see when we actually get past it. Okay, we're going up. And straight up isn't even the most efficient. I'm a bit stupid for doing that. But... This is just a simple simulation. I want to see if we could theoretically get there. Efficiency's dropping. Okay, throttle up a tiny bit. Our vertical speed to me is above the... Target speed, so why isn't it... Oh yeah, speed and altitude. See, that that would have been... A successful uh, test there. And we would have achieved the altitude record. Brilliant. Uh, so back to the space center. Leave anyway. The simulation is showing that the test craft... Sh that the craft should be uh, good. So we will save Jeb's first date's hot friend. We'll launch and we will build the vessel. We'll actually do some science this time. Scoot! Spartan Scoot! Now, the unfortunate thing is, because we don't have parachutes to stick on these stages, we're wasting them. We can recover them, and it will make the next uh, set of buildings cheap, you know, the next spacecraft that we build is of a similar type cheaper. Uh, but, that's fine, this is being built. And because we did them in simulations, even the launch pad isn't ready yet, so we best warp to that. Being complete, so we managed to get all the simulation done before they even repaired the launch pad. And 14 days to build Jeb's first date's hot friend. Well, no choice. We've got to go forward. I probably should, should check to see if uh, I've got any more points to upgrade. But it's fine. Survivability tech. Oh, the tech. Of course, I don't get the tech straight away, do I? Uh, but no, we can launch this one. We don't need survivability just yet. A rollout. Yeah, the vehicle roll out in two hours. Here we go. Vehicle assembly building. It's on the launch pad. We sent. We need to send a pilot. We don't need like a full crew yet. So let's uh, launch with Jeb in again because somehow. He's back from the dead, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! <laughs> but we know that we should, if we fly this correctly, be able to complete the uh, missions just. We just get fast enough and we just get high enough as we actually run out of fuel. So full speed on the throttle. And... Launch! 
I'm ready on to throttle back once we get to the 100. Uh, I do want you up though so I can see when we're doing it. Uh, the tanks seem to be full. I'm hoping that's the case. Oh crap, I've gone way over. Damn it, it was only close, only just last time, so... I think I'm flying this worse than I did in the simulation. I really need to be paying attention more and keeping that number... ...balanced right. And we're going up. That's staying almost perfectly at 100% and keeping it within 1% tolerance. Or trying to, anyway. <laughs> How's the fuel looking? It's almost gone. Right, we're going fast enough. And we should get high enough. That's high enough. Launch for next stage. And this should easily enough take us over the top on the altitude record. And altitude records ticked. Ditch for stage. See you in a bit, Mez. And we might as well launch a parachute. Uh, crap, actually. Is there the mystery goo? Uh, keep the data. Wrong button. I guess I can do you on the way back down. Ah, oh, screw it. It says it's going to be nine science. Can't do EVA. Can do a crew report though, can't I? Try and scrape some science. Yep. Now I guess I speed up and we come back down. Still going up. Still going up. Uh, wait a minute, we got a hell of a lot higher than I thought we was going to. I mean, we are very close to leaving the atmosphere with this craft, and that's with the dumb, like, shoot straight up angle. You know, instead of, like, roll, uh, doing a gravity turn. Oh, it shows you the biome! Slope. Impact time! <laughs> I like that! It tells you when you're going to die. Um, let's get ready to slow down again. But yeah, we, we've got a good bit to go down first. Oh, about a thousand meters. Explosion. I think we're still in the general vicinity of Kerbin. And we might be far enough away to actually collect another biome. If you have a throttle down at launch, you might as well replace the engine with a lighter one. A lower thrust engine instead. And tents you would not carry as engine bulk. Oh, right. I hadn't even thought about that yet. Yep, I'm enjoying lurking and enjoying the content instead of shouting at Nick for two-way roads. <laughs> uh, uh, Hell Dwarf, if you've um, got... Chance, or watch the city by committee. There's four of us uh, passing on a save between each other, uh, some uh, other, three other YouTubers as well, an Australian, two Americans. And um, I, I use one ways in that too, so you can shout at me. <laughs> right, a thrust away is probably a guideline of 1.1, quite low accurately. Uh, check some docs, recommend 1.5 and 1.2.5. Okay, so we did land safe, and damn it, I shouldn't have done both mystery goose because I, sh I should have known that I was going to be able to get out. But yeah, EVA, ow. You, EVA report, a little bit more science. No, 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 get in, get in. In. There we go, and recover you. I do like how all these things take extra time, but recovery time? No, that's not a thing. Uh, so we gathered uh, 38 science... No, we got up to 38 science data. We gathered 18. Next. And um, we're down to 46,000 in fund. The 
crew, Jebediah, gained no XP whatsoever. See, to me, we had new records. That should have been... Um, that's, that, I would have thought that would have given us something good. I think we go for a new altitude record. I'm sure we was close to that. And so to be honest, probably a slight reworking of the craft that we have could do that. Orbit though... I don't think what we have can get us into orbit. I'm going to go for these. I'm going to leave these ones alone and just go for the main... The main thing. So we need to build a new craft. Actually, do we have... What is coming in the next science thing? I can't remember. Damn small capsule. Yep. Uh, that's science, isn't it? Yes, that is science. And the next thing we're getting... We're going to be able to recover stages. That's about it, though. 38. We need more science. How long until the next science? Uh, tech. 14 days. I can upgrade the amount that we get tech speed. Yeah, this will half the time. That's all my new points spent, but now... Uh, let's close you. Now it's only going to be three days for that tech to finish. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen of the, uh, YouTube, that's all the time we have for today. As always, I would like to thank you for watching. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to say goodbye. Goodbye.